TV Sports 27 coming your way, and we are on the final stop, the final week that the WWE is in control of Mr. McMahon. After all these years, we got Eli joining us. We have Alpha joining us in the chat, jumping in here, and this is Monday Night Raw. And once we get through the month of November, what kind of changes, what is universe mode going to look like what is wwe going to look like are we going to see new shows new changes new pay-per-views boy we gotta you get to stay tuned to find out but it is going to be a big one tonight we got a stacked card and we are kicking it off with montez ford in action here he's going one-on-one with Shinsuke Nakamura. While the loading screen is up, we want to show you all the ways you can help support the channel. Follow us on Twitch. We are live right now on Twitch. Subscribe on YouTube and follow on Twitter. Twitter, we let you know when we're going live. And YouTube, we're going to drop all these videos coming up at the end of January. So be on the lookout for that. You can also get the entire stream early and ad-free on Patreon, as well as our WWE Dark bonus matchup coming up. An epic six-man tag team matchup. A never-before-seen combination that is going to take place on our Patreon page after the show. You guys are also... uh, can get your message across the screen by chatting live with us here on Twitch, or you can drop us a little something in our Streamlabs jar, and uh, your message will come across the screen. If I happen to miss it, let me know, but I'll read it out for you live on the air and all that fun stuff. So we're going to kick things off here with Shinsuke Nakamura and Montez Ford. Now, Montez Ford, he's got a big matchup coming up. They have officially named their team Montez Ford, Shelton Benjamin, and Cedric Alexander the Unwanted because that is how they felt. Ford was not wanted by his tag team partner. Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander felt like they weren't wanted by the bigger company. So they're the Unwanted, and they got their Survivor Series elimination match coming up at the Survivor Series against the Hurt Business later on in this broadcast. You guys are going to see the Hurt Business's MVP go up against Cedric Alexander. And you see Ford in the ring already getting hyped up and looking around. Look at this. Look at this. Bobby Lashley has attacked Ford's opponent here. And Lashley, who was defeated by Montez Ford last week, is coming for a fight. Ford storming in. Lashley storming into Ford. I did not expect that. I thought we were going to get some kind of future match between uh, Nakamura and, and Montez Ford, but no. Look at this. Bobby Lashley kicking away. And spine buster. Ford, uh, he was not prepped for this one. <laughs> oh my God, Ford on the back of his head. Bobby Lashley upset. He was beat by Montez Ford on Monday Night Raw a couple of weeks ago, a couple of streams ago. I think it was even last week on, you know, Ford's been starting to pick up this momentum here. And it's not going to end between this group. You know, this rivalry has been going on for a number of months here. And we got Cedric Alexander, an MVP later tonight. But Ford stepping back into it. And Bobby Lashley tearing at the ankle. Lashley hammering away. Oh, just throwing Ford. We'll have to keep in mind, I I might have to write this down, Nakamura's going to want some revenge now on the Hurt Business. As Lashley dominating Montez Ford, power slam into the mat, hammering away, punching away. My goodness, this uh, this is the payback that Bobby Lashley was looking for. Hurt Business versus the Unwanted at Survivor Series. A Survivor Series elimination match. We got two Survivor Series elimination matches. Traditional Survivor Series elimination matches. But we got plenty 
of elimination matches, including Mr. McMahon's Tournament from Hell and the Elimination Chamber. Survivor Series is all about who will survive. And look at Montez Ford clothesline taken down Bobby Lashley. Ford off the top hits the axe handle onto Bobby Lashley here. Wouldn't this be something if Bobby Lashley got beat by Ford after he came and tried to get the jump on here? Oh, into the corner. We know that uh, we heard the big breaking news, or maybe you guys read it over on our YouTube community tab. Boy, Bobby Lashley just withstanding those super kicks. Uh, yeah, awesome attire. We had a little bit of help, didn't we? When we uh, There's going to be an episode coming out on YouTube where we put the uh, Montez Ford attire together. We had some help, and boy, that uh, <laughs> Bobby Lashley comes in, gets payback, gets revenge, and defeats Montez Ford. We still got coming up MVP and Cedric Alexander. I didn't even realize the Hurt Business was out there with Bobby Lashley. I just, <laughs> they were out there with them. Man, Bobby Lashley, that is the revenge that Lashley was looking for. Oh, I, I was pure focus, I promise, pure focus. But either way, <laughs> Bobby Lashley wins it. Traditional Survivor Series matchup coming up. The Hurt Business versus the Unwanted. And I gotta, I'm gonna write down just so I remember. Nakamura. There's a one star classic here. Bobby Roode and Slapjack up next. Lashley attacks Nakamura. All right, I got it written down here. So there'll be a little follow-up with that action here. We got Robert Roode, Slapjack, Bobby Roode, and we want to give a shout out now to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so much for being Patreon supporters of the channel, each and every one of you. We got an ultra fan stream coming up this week. We're going to see some Denver Broncos football, a double dose, a two hour session of Denver Broncos football. So uh, for all of you that help support the channel on Patreon and that atrocious new Patreon logo, Thank you guys so much. Yes, Eli, shout out to the Patreons. You guys help keep this channel alive, help support the channel. We appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Here he comes, the glorious one of the Judgment Day, Bobby Roode. So coming up, Mr. McMahon's Tournament from Hell. We announced the original match lineup, but of course, Retribution, they're not going to make things easy on us. They're shuffling things up around. Originally, it was going to be teaming up Kane and Machine, and it might still be coming up at the pay-per-view. It was going to be Kane and Machine, and it was going to be the finesse guys, Ali and Slapjack, that were teaming up. And the TLC match, well, we're hearing now that it might be Ali and Kane teaming up in the TLC match and Machine and Slapjack teaming up in the Extreme Rules match. You know these guys are going to keep you on your toes up until the very last minute. But as of right now, scheduled, from what we understand, tables, ladders, and chairs, a Miss Rickman's Tournament from Hell qualifying match. The Usos versus Edge and Rey Mysterio versus Mustafa Ali and Kane. Originally was Mustafa Ali and Slapjack. An Extreme Rules qualifying match. Kevin Owens and CM Punk versus Machine and Slapjack versus Damian Priest. And the mystery opponent, who we are going to find out in this broadcast here tonight, who is the sixth and final member of the Judgment Day 
to round out this group and who will have an opportunity to become the new owner of WWE. Robert Roode has had quite some time with Retribution. He was the former Intercontinental Champion and lost the championship to Kane and has had a hard time getting that momentum back. So would love to pick up a win here leading up to the Survivor Series event as he's going to team up with the legend himself, Bobby Roode, is going to be teaming up with The Undertaker in what was originally going to be a steel cage match, but I didn't realize that this game does not allow you to do six-man triple threat steel cage matches. The only option for a six-man cage match is a Hell in a Cell. So I was trying to do a cage match because we had done a lot of Hell in a Cells recently, having just done the NXT Hell in a Cell event, but uh, it is now going to be a Hell in a Cell event, and it is scheduled for Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar versus T-Bar and Mace versus The Undertaker and Bobby Roode. So what a tag team, a first-time tag team. And, you know, you kind of think of all the options here. I think, obviously, you think Edge and Rey Mysterio, since they are the tag team champions, are teaming up. But folks that Undertaker might team up with maybe would think of a Damian Priest just because of the size and the similarity between a Damian Priest and an Undertaker. But Damian Priest... Uh, will be teaming up with the mystery. The well, he won't be a mystery at the end of this show, but teaming up with the new member of of uh, Judgment Day, while the Undertaker electing to go with Bobby Roode as his partner in the Hell in a Cell matchup here. And as of right now, Bobby Roode and Kane in separate matches. But like we said, Retribution could continue to switch things up. Uh, T Bar and Mace. Would be, oh, Eli, you missed it. No, it, it, the the conspiracy is over. You'll have to check out some of the past episodes, the old episodes. I don't know if they're on YouTube yet, but all the old streams are up on our Patreon page if you want to get caught up on that. But no, the conspiracy is no more. Damien Priest took up Edge. Actually, I think that episode might have just gone up on uh, YouTube this week, so check out our YouTube page. But no, the conspiracy is no more. Damian Priest took up Edge on his offer and joined the Judgment Day. So the conspiracy for Sami Zayn continues. And the beatdown for Slapjack on Bobby Roode continues here. So these are the struggles of Bobby Roode from... Oh, look at that. Nice uppercut. Nice forearm shot by the glorious one. Big shot between the eyes, yeah. Uh, the conspiracy is no more. Get caught up with those episodes on our YouTube page or on our Patreon page, whichever. And here's a little, you can get all the plugs at the bottom of your screen scrolling by now. Slapjack. I want to hear from you. What do you think would be a better team, Eli? Do you think uh, Ali and Kane teaming up? Is the stronger team, obviously, Ali, the leader of Retribution, and Kane, the Intercontinental Champion? Or do you think the Machines should team up? Should it be the Big Red Machine and the Machine teaming up? And Ali and Slapjack, the finesse guys, teaming up? What would be the better team, Ali and Slapjack, Machine and Kane, or Ali and Kane and Machine and Slapjack? Obviously, T-Bar and Mace are going to stay teaming up together here outside of the ring and this one has turned into a competitive battle the other side by alter bridge maybe uh, you know we do have edge coming up a little bit later on edge obviously in real life no longer part of wwe so uh, i uh, when i buy future wwe 2k games i'm gonna have to get a good old community creation or just play this one a little bit longer because I'm I'm losing my my whole roster here, <laughs> and this game is disappearing because uh, there's no more Slapjack, there's no more Ali, there's no more Edge. My entire universe mode roster is slowly disappearing here. Robert Rude getting fired up here on to Slapjack, and he's got him pump handle, glorious driver. On to Slapjack, into the cover. And a kick out. Boy, Rude thought he had it, didn't he? 
Glorious driver wasn't enough, but how about a glorious DDT? Maybe this will make Ali's decision a little easier to say, hey, I'm gonna team up with Kane. And there's your three count, Robert Roode. Picks up a win, a huge win. And coming up at the Survivor Series, Mr. McMahon's Tournament from Hell, Hell in a Cell, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns versus T-Bar and Mace versus The Undertaker and Robert Roode. Slapjack is going to be in the Extreme Rules match. Slapjack and Machine versus Damian Priest and the new Judgment Day member versus CM Punk and Kevin Owens. The Iconics, that's true. Uh, but I, I, I have a feeling, though, the situation... Um, I have a feeling that Edge is going to be pulled out of the WWE 2 game, 2K games uh, rather quickly. All right, we might be able to squeeze two more matches in or so in this particular episode. Of course, we're going to do the whole thing full show on uh, Twitch and on Patreon. But for those of you on YouTube, we're going to break it up into parts here. We got MVP and Cedric Alexander. So from based off of what we just saw a couple minutes ago between Lashley and Montez Ford, this is the match you're getting at Survivor Series, the unwanted and the hurt business in the traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup. Will the Hurt Business go 2-0, or can Cedric Alexander get a measure of revenge here in this contest? And here they come, and I know it's not quite dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-d
MVP in Shelton uh, in Cedric Alexander. It's eternal. Okay, so it is possible. That's good. Because I promoted a six-man steel cage match, and that wasn't possible. So uh, I should probably check these things before I promote the matches. But, you know, things change on the fly. Cards subject to change, right? It's always possible here. MVP. Oh, neckbreaker to Cedric Alexander. MVP stomping away and into the submission here on Alexander. Camel Clutch. Eliminator from, uh, what was that? Uh, WrestleMania 19, the video game, right? And again, Alexander up and over onto MVP. Survivor Series is going to be a stack show. Right now, I don't have a set schedule for it, but since it is going to be a long show, as most mega events are, it's probably going to be a next weekend kind of thing, so be on the lookout for that. Of course, we'll make the announcement. Three of those matches are going to be a part of Sunday Night Heat, which is exclusive to our Patreon page, and those three matches kick off the show. So maybe sometime midweek, those Sunday Night Heat matches will go up on patreon and then uh, i'd say be on the lookout perhaps next weekend for the survivor series my broncos play on thursday night coming up this week so that would open up our sunday schedule a little bit i'll have to see what saturday i think saturday might be kind of busy with all the different games but we'll see what we got here mvp Puts him down, and is the Hurt Business about to go 2-0? No, kick out by Alexander. MVP. He's got him. Play of the day. Alexander kicks out. How about it? Oh, jawbreaker. Alexander wiping out MVP with the clothesline here. Irish whip into the buckle. And MVP collapsing down to the mat here. Alexander. Oh, knockout shot to MVP. There's your cover. And MVP kicks out. Stomping away. Oh, forearm blow, of course. If you guys tuned in to WWE Main Event, you saw that we got some new roster members. Braun Breaker, Carmella, and Legato Del Fantasma all coming up to the main roster. The Viking Raiders, Akira Tozawa. Oh, I almost broke the, uh, the, the elbow right there. The Viking Raiders, Akira Tozawa, and Liv Morgan relegated to NXT. So we're going to see some new members. Of, you know, look at Ford. He can't believe it on the outside of the ring. Uh, we're going to see some new members of the WWE roster, and I think they're going to make their debut after the Survivor Series with new ownership. And who knows what will happen, what changes the ownership will want to make to main event or WWE Dark or anything like that. Everything is possible. Monday Night Raw can change nights. Alexander. Oh, just smacking MVP back of the head. He's going up top here, dropping the elbow. Is Cedric Alexander into the cover on MVP? And nearly gets the three count. Holy smokes. Alexander has MVP, picks him up. The big, massive, super backbreaker into the cover. And Alexander knocks off MVP on Monday Night Raw. Big win for the unwanted. What's going on here? This can't be this can't be right. That's a weird uh This has gotta be a glitch. Because they're on the same team. They're tag teams. And there's not a rivalry between these two. All right. Ignore this. You didn't just see that. That was, uh... 
we're going to pretend that that was uh, Bobby Lashley who tried to shake the hand and Cedric slapped it away because that doesn't make a, a lick of sense <laughs> right there. Uh, all right. That's going to do it for uh, the first hour of Monday Night Raw. This is TB Sports 27, but we got hour number two coming your way. You want to come on back. Miz and Barry Horowitz is going to kick us off for that second hour. 